Welcome to experiment three in our series Science in the Kitchen. Today we're going to do some more kitchen chemistry experiments and this time we're going to use some vinegar and some sodium bicarbonate. This, the vinegar is a very weak acid and the sodium bicarbonate is an alkaline. So when we add these together we're going to cause what's called a neutralisation reaction and during this neutralisation carbon dioxide is going to be released and we've optionally going to put in a little bit of washing up liquid as well. So that's going to catch the carbon dioxide in lots of little bubbles. So, first of all, we've got one of these. You don't need that top bit, forget about that bit. If you haven't got one of these, a beaker, a cup, you can use anything you like. But this has got a bit of a narrow top, so it funnels, it funnels the bubbles up. First of all, we've got 40, 40 grams of sodium bicarbonate. And again, this is used in cooking. It's also named, known as baking soda. So 40 grams of that, and we're going to use 100 mils of vinegar. And as I said, we've optionally got some washing up liquid, so I'll just put a little bit of that in, but you don't need to add this. funnel so they don't go down and spill it all over the place. There we go, we can see all the carbon dioxide that's been released. Now carbon dioxide is heavier than air, so these bubbles have dropped down fairly quickly. Also carbon dioxide is not very nice to breathe in, so always do this experiment in a nice well ventilated area. The other thing is, once you've finished, don't forget to wash your hands because the last thing you want to do is smell like a pickled onion. Thank you for taking part in our Science in the Kitchen experiment. I hope you've really enjoyed yourself. Now, if you want to join in with us to do some more science, see Titan the Robot, see Johnny Ball, come and see us at SciFest Saturday on the 5th of July. <laughs>